Now, the final question today is this. I'm not sure about pH or P, what pH balancer products do. Is it necessary to use one along with a nail dehydrator with some or all nail coatings? Well, pH is important to know about because it makes many other concepts much easier to understand. It's, it's really a pretty easy concept to understand if it's properly explained, so I'll give it a try. <clears throat> pH is a measure of the acidity or the alkalinity of, uh, the acidity or the alkalinity of water. Nothing more. There you go. That's pretty easy. Water normally isn't acid or alkaline. It's exactly in the middle at the neutral point. Now, some people say basic instead of alkaline, but these terms are identical. It's very important to know this. Only water can have pH, nothing else, and there are no exceptions. And only water containing substance can have pH. Nothing else can have pH. For instance, a nail oil would not have a pH because it contains no water. But if you mix the oil with water to make a lotion, the lotion will have a pH, which will come directly from the water in the mixture. Now, if you dissolve other substances into water, that can change the water's pH to become more acid or more alkaline, depending on what's added. Interestingly, when you measure the pH, you're measuring how much acid or alkaline substance is dissolved into the water at that moment. For example, if I blow bubbles into water, it will change from neutral to acidic because of the carbon dioxide in my breath that dissolves in the water to make carbonic acid, which shifts the pH to the acid side. pH can be used to measure precisely how much acid or alkaline material is dissolved into the water blend, which is why pH is an important measure of the quality for lotions, creams, and other water-containing cosmetics, and why manufacturers often depend on measuring the pH of their products to ensure they're proper. These products, if these products are made properly, then you can see the pH will be correct. If they're made improperly, the pHs will shift, and that will allow manufacturers to understand that uh, something's wrong, perhaps, with that particular product or batch. Most manufacturers will specify an allowable pH range of their products, and may reject the batch just because of the pH. Now that you understand the pH a bit more, I'll explain how this can be balanced inside the nail plate. The nail plate contains water, so it has pH. <clears throat> the pH of the nail is difficult to determine because there are many factors that can influence the pH, and there's no real easy way to measure the pH of water inside the nail plate. Here's where things get interesting. The pH of water inside the plate can be temporarily altered if the plate is exposed to acidic or alkaline substances. Vinegar, for instance, is acidic. So, if your nails are soaked in vinegar, one expects the pH of the nail plate to become more acidic. The same would be true if the nail plate were soaked in baking soda solution, which has an alkaline pH and would make the plate become more alkaline. As the pH of the nail changes, this causes a slight change in the physical shape of the proteins inside the nail plate as they adjust to the new pH of the water in which they are submerged. There can also be some minor chemical changes on the surface of the nail plate that's related to pH. These changes alone are small. However, combined, they can produce a minor improvement in surface adhesion. Nothing really huge, but it can help a little. Now, I don't know which product you're using, but it really doesn't matter. The idea behind a pH balancer is to temporarily alter the pH of the nail plate, likely for improvement in the, of adhesion. Eventually, the nail plate will restore its normal pH levels, so the effect only lasts for a few hours, not for a few days. When should you use such products? That depends entirely upon who's telling you to use them. If the manufacturer of the nail coating that inst instructs you to do this, then I would recommend you carefully follow that manufacturer's instructions. In, the case, in this case, the pH balancer is, is probably a step in a system that's designed to ensure improved adhesion of the nail plate. So not following this step could affect your final results and lead to lifting. That's why it's important to use products as directed. 
Now, my answer is completely different. If someone is telling you to use a pH balancer with a nail coating product that was not specifically designed for use with that pH balancer. If the manufacturer doesn't recommend using the product, you should call them to make sure they aren't concerned about some unforeseen issues that you haven't considered. <clears throat> now, I recommend caution here. Maybe there are some exceptions to the statement, but I'm always leery of someone who's trying to sell their products as a replacement for another manufacturer's product that was designed to be part of a system. What's that all about? I call this breaking systems. This was a past topic that I've discussed in previous episodes. Now you can find that easily, uh, that episode, simply by going uh, to the Face to Face with Doug Shoon website and putting in the search term, Breaking Systems. In fact, you can search through all past episodes with, with keyword search terms like this and, and watch episodes you may have missed. So you won't be surprised that my recommendation to listen to the nail, that my recommendation in this case is to listen to the nail coating manufacturer and follow their directions. They're the ones that can give you the best information about how to proceed with using their products.